two of the boys that I lived with at Blue House were the ones that found me on the hallway floor that day I took the boxes of sleeping pills and I remember Dummy's eyes the most because I really feel like I saw his soul that day. If you ever could see auras or someone's soul through their eyes, I definitely did that day while I was slipping through my body. I wasn't able to move. I was totally paralyzed in my body and I was definitely trapped somewhere inside. Um, I, my body looked lifeless and dead and I couldn't express anything. I couldn't tell them that I was still there. But I just remember seeing his eyes looking down at me and they just looked like they were searching and trying to find me. And they did. They honestly did because that light that I saw is what I followed out of this. It almost felt like a black hole. I didn't go to the hospital that night, although it probably would have been a smart thing to do to have my stomach pumped, but that wasn't the route that um, was taken. Instead, someone stayed with me all night long. I think I was eventually passed off to Hannah and Mozart who stayed with me and watched Fraggle Rock and I was just this lifeless creature slumped up that couldn't move, couldn't speak and was half alive and they sat with me until the sun came up and I finally came out of it. It would take days, almost weeks after that incident where I started to feel normal again. Everything felt like it was in slow motion after that like complete slow motion. I haven't I haven't ever hurt myself. I haven't cut myself and I haven't committed tried to off myself. I haven't done anything from that day forward. I made a promise to Dum Dum and I really feel like he saved my life that day and I made a promise to him that I would never hurt myself ever again and I would find a different way. And I have I have kept to my promise and I have not hurt myself. I have not done anything to harm myself. I have literally pushed past any desire or urge to do so and tried to figure it out in a different way. That's not to say that I haven't hit downfall since then or spiraled or have found unhealthy ways to deal with it because I think along the way I stumbled and I fell, but I have not tried to hurt myself physically or offing myself since that day simply because I made that promise.